Use this meta defense to get more sacks and more stops against your opponent. Coming up next. Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Alright, so guys, this is Meta Monday, and we're going to talk about a defensive strategy that a lot of the pro players are using. I want to show you a set of the blitz that's slightly different from what I've seen by pro players use. Uh, I think this is a lot more consistent with the pressure. Um, but uh, what I'm going to show you is a, a coverage adjustment that pro players use with this particular blitz setup um, that is is it's very harassing and, and very annoying to stop. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the blitz. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the coverages that a lot of the pro players are doing. Uh, so once again, this is this is Meta Monday, so uh, it's pure plagiarism. This is stuff that I didn't really create, but uh, I'm going to I'm actually going to show you how I run the blitz, uh, just because it's faster to set up and it's more consistent. All right, so the blitz is actually going to be out of the dollar three two six, and this is a very common uh, playbook that you can find uh, in multiple different playbooks out there. Uh, it's going to be the dollar fire uh, fire two, and I actually found that it works best um, against um, pretty much shotgun passes. Uh, that uh, the formation would be like the bunch formation. So you got a lot of people that are running bunch uh, for the sake of this video. We're using Arizona as our, our offense we're playing against, and we're going to use this against a cluster. We're just going to go ahead and select random plays. So what I found to set this blitz up first is uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, blitz all of your linebackers by hitting the left uh, D-pad and blitzing all and then base align and show blitz. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a bunch of your guys down in the box. Uh, so it really it doesn't matter which uh, linebacker you play. Uh, it's going to give you an opportunity to go and play that. And you're just going to take your linebacker and um, basically go ahead and play them over the uh, guard and you should be able to get some pressure that's going to come in so that was a run play but let's go ahead and show you how to set this up again so we're going to go ahead and, and show blitz baseline um, and show blitz we're just going to use this guy right here and if we have time we're going to go ahead and pass commit now what's good about this particular play is that it's a very fast blitz to set up and as you can see the pressure just came in screaming even though that was a screen play right there uh, that screen play could have been crushed so let's go ahead and set this one more up one, one more time base uh, blitz all very important the blitz all so you can get this type of a look and then you're just going to go and pass line uh, or, and, and uh, basically pass commit by hitting your left bumper and flicking up on the right stick we're going to try to preoccupy this guard and center right here that's the most important thing and then we're just going to go and peel off and play some kind of protection now i want to show you why this play is so effective and why the pressure came in if you look this edge pressure comes screaming in and also he blocked a running back two where we had the other outside pressure right here screaming on the back inside. So he's gonna have to block seven if he wants to pick this blitz up. Uh, so it, it, the, the, the CPU is showing s is basically seven or so, and you've got fast pressure off the edge. So if you put very fast defensive backs that are 90 plus speed, they're going to come flying in on the sticker blitz. Now this is not really where the magic of this play is at. This is your back back pocket blitz that you can show to your show to your opponent, so they can so they have to defend it. They're going to have to block a running back. You're still going to get edge pressure to go ahead and, and beat your opponent, and they're going to have a hard time with it. So where is the magic well the magic is with the coverage adjustments when you show this blitz to them so we're gonna go ahead and blitz all baseline and show blitz and then what a lot of top players are doing is they're basically going in and setting up this defense uh, to take away a lot of the different routes so what they're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead and man up uh, the uh, like uh, players that they feel are going to be a threat uh, to the outside so they'll go ahead and man up the slot guy right here and actually man this guy's up and then uh, what they'll do is they'll go ahead and man up the running back uh, with this guy right here or actually cross man him with the linebacker so now what's going on right now is that the, the CPU is is seeing that he's got you got three guys that are in the inside my zone or area that I'm concerned about 
is going to be this guy right here. But you can see he actually falls into the area. If I got a guy that's scrambling with his quarterback, I'm winning in this type of situation. So the trick to this defense is to is to, is to show blitz and then baseline. So you got that blitz set up. It only takes basically basically three quick steps that are global steps to get your blitz set up. And then you're going to go ahead and um, make adjustments from there. So let's see here. We're going to go ahead and, and man this guy up. And then we're going to take this linebacker and man him up over here. So now we're cross manning guys across the field. And whoever isn't manned up is going to be uh, basically our assignment. Unless we want to leave someone uh, not uh, not use it all. So you can see we've got some crossing routes right here. And if he's picking up a couple yards in a play, that's going to be a good situation. Especially when you got a blitz in your back pocket. So... And when you make these type of adjustments, you're cross manning on the inside. You're showing your opponent the pressure, and he's going to have a hard time stopping these type of plays, and you're going to be able to get a lot of cover sacks against them. So this is uh, basically a meta play that's actually getting used online. If you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button, and I'll be rolling out some more offensive and defensive tips to go ahead and take your game to the next level. So to my subscribers, thank for your support, and until next time.